Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn how to write a simple script in GEdit Editor. So we write GEdit, which is the name of the editor, and then we will name the file. Let's take the file name as test dot sh, which is the extension used in shell scripting. So once I enter this, we will now reach to the GEdit. Yeah. So now we are inside this GEdit editor. As you can see, the name of the file is test dot sh. So whenever you are working in any editor, for that you have to first of all write hash exclamation sign, and then you have to tell the location of your shell. So bash is located inside this. After this, we are going to put a comment and tell what we are going to do. So here you can write whatever you feel like. So you can say uh, demo script, right? And then. You are uh, giving a printf statement. You are just uh, use for the printf statement. You are using echo, where you are displaying that welcome to the gedit editor. Simply, and then here you are uh, simply uh, using this touch command to create a new file. So let's say the file now I'm creating here is new file, and the extension of the file is new file dot txt, right? And then uh, we are using this cal command, and the output of this cal command is redirected into this new file dot txt, right? After this, I just copy this. And I use it again to give one more statement, and the statement is exit from the G editor. So here, uh, if I talk about nano editor, there you have to use certain commands to copy and paste or cut. But here, just like you used to work in your Notepad, you have you can simply copy anything uh, by Control C and Control V, Control C for copying and Control V for pasting, right? So it's quite easy because uh, it behaves as, as the same kind as we used to work in your normal text editors, right? So now this is a very simple script that we have written here. So we have uh, given a printing message to the user that welcome to the editor, and then inside this we are creating a, a text file. Its, its name is new underscore file. So this file has been created inside this script. And then we are redirecting the output of cal command to this new file, right? So this file will be created just after this is being executed. This uh, test dot sh is executed. Then only it is going to be created. Before that, it will not be created. That I'll now show you. And then we are displaying this message that exit the gedit editor. Now simply, what you need to do is you just need to save it, and then you just. Uh, Press this cross button, and you will directly reach to your terminal, right? After this, what you need to do is you have to run this uh, file. So, how to run? You will all for all the for all the editors. Uh, this command will be same. We have to use dot, then forward slash, and then we will be using s dot sh. So, once you write it, it is saying that permission is denied. So then, what you will do is you will see what is the permission given. Then you will be using ls hyphen space hyphen l, which is which will give you the long listing of which file test dot sh. Now let's see. So there is no execute permission given to any of the groups in this file, right? And we are basically executing this file. So we are not given the execute permission on this file. So we will use one more command which will change the permission on this file. So H M O D, and then with space plus X plus X means it is giving execute permission to the file. And if I write plus X, it is going to give uh, execute permission to all the groups. Then with space, I am going to write test dot sh. And now again, when you press the same command, you can see uh, the permissions have been modified. Now execute permission is being given to. All the groups, right now, so we can easily run this. 
so simply again we will be using the same command for running it so now it is saying welcome to the g edit editor and exit the g edit editor so let's see if i write ls you can see that because we have run this file so you can see uh, the name of the file was test.sh which is a script file that is why its color is green so this was created but when we run this file then this new file.txt which was created inside this is also created right so now we'll see the content of both of them so now i use cat space test.sh and also let me show you where the files are being created both these files are created in your present working directory now here you can see test.sh is being created and this is a scripted file and uh, the gui for this is different from the text file so this is the text file new underscore file dot txt so this is the text file and this is the scripted file and both their extensions uh, both their gui interface is very different right so in this way we can distinguish which one is the, the script file and which one is the normal text file now coming back to this so now here if i see the content of this file so what we did was this was all that was written in this uh, scripted file and here you can see that it is only displaying welcome to the gedit editor and exit the gedit editor so these are the outputs of this file right but what about this so because we created this new file so this file was created it can be shown here and then cal output the command the output of this cal command is being redirected to this file so that is why this is created right so we can see here but this output will be displayed inside this file but not inside your test.sh right so now we can um, also see the content of this file by using new file dot txt so this will show the content of this file so what is the content of this file because we have redirected the output of this cal command to this file so that is why this has been redirected the current uh, calendar of this month is being displayed here in this file right similarly if you want to open the file new underscore file dot txt if you want to open this then we have the function uh, the command xdg hyphen open and then we'll name the file so if you try to open this then you can see that file will now open so we can see this is the file that has opened that has been opened now and this is the output that is being written here so you can simply open the file and see the output and you can also see the output from the unix command you see the output on the terminal so this is that output that is being displayed on the terminal right and <clears throat> one more thing is you can also go to your home directory and you can just open this file simply from here and you can see what is the content written in this so it will show you the same content only right so these are the different ways how you can uh, see the content of the file you can go directly go to the present working directory you can open the file or you can operate from the terminal itself and here if you open this shell script now here you can also see this is the script that we have written so as compared to the different editors that we are going to work this is uh, g edit is uh, really very powerful and also very popular among people because of its easy interface you can simply copy and paste the commands and even uh, different colors have been given to the different uh, syntax right so i hope you understood the basic of g edit editor go through the other videos where i have explained how to create simple scripts in notepad nano editor vi editor and then choose the one that suits you suits you and do your script in the same editor till then stay tuned to my lectures thank you so much